Hey guys and welcome to my two month hair loss reversal update using Finasteride, Minoxidil and Derma Rolling. All I gotta say is that I'm pretty happy about it. Firstly, why is my hair still so short? I like to keep it short in case of the shedding, so if I maintain it short, the shedding is not as noticeable. I want to keep it around a centimeter on top, nothing more. And if you're following this hair loss regimen, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I just do it for my own sanity because I can't stand the thought of people seeing that the shedding is really bad because then I look like 10, 20, 30, 40 years older, so nah, I'd rather not. Just like last time, I'm going to break down the progress throughout last month, so from November to December and then the two weeks in between there as well. So we're gonna go from November, mid-November, beginning of December. All right, so let's look at November. This was taken the same day that I recorded my last video, and as you can see, there's still a lot of shedding going on in the entire crown area, and also on the temples. I remember I compared this pattern sort of like a fish. The temples had grown in quite well. We had a lot of small hairs coming through, which is a good thing. And like I said in my last video, I always compare my hairline like that. I always compare it to this little mark that I got. So I kind of know where the hairline should go. And I know I have quite high temples, so it should always be up and down. I have this hair as well, which I don't know why that's just there by itself, but it is. So I have kind of like my hairline growing hair, and then I have this one hair hair that's always grown. So we can see here as well a lot of small ones there. So we know right here that there was a lot of shedding happening in the crown area that it was looking very thin and diffused and this is completely normal. That usually happens when you begin taking finasteride and minoxidil that the hair cycle is renewed so basically all the hair was susceptible to male pattern baldness will renew their hair cycle. The hair that is thinning will die and then start from the beginning. So that's why I see that it's looking really weak here in November. But if we spin forward to mid-November, you can actually see here that there are actually better results. I can see that they're still thinning, yes, but the hairs are thicker. There's more hair that's actually becoming terminal hair. Overall, it just looks more dense and thick. Also, one thing I pay attention to is the color of my hair, that it looks a lot darker right now. And I've tried to be as consistent as possible with the angle and also the lighting, so I use the flashlight on my phone to control the light and not letting this, the environment sort of impact the, uh, the shots. Look here between this one and this one. Obviously, this one is better. There's like these guys here, there's these guys here, here that are very thin, but at the same time they're growing longer, so I'm just expecting that with time they're just gonna get better. Also from looking at this photo, in mid-November, you can see a stronger hairline across here. This area right here is still a bit thin, but if you look at the temples, sure I can see a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit around here, but they're obviously not as bad as they were here. Because here, you can actually see there's such a difference between the hair. So, I'm very happy with these results. Let's head over to the temples. Here, we can see as well that there's a lot of baby hairs kicking in around here. A lot more than before, which is a good thing. And I don't even apply minoxidil there. I apply minoxidil, like, from around this bit here. Maybe a little bit over, like there. But it still spreads because it goes into the scalp, it still affects areas around it. And I also noticed that when I was growing my beard before, that I applied minoxidil here and here, but I would grow hairs around here as well, like my cheeks and stuff, which is so weird. Mid-November, the hair is looking fine. It was not as diffused as before, which is a good thing. There is still a lot of baby hairs coming in here that aren't obviously terminal, but they still look really good. So a lot of potential here. Even in the front, this is the hair that I was talking about before. We can still see in the front that all of these small, 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 small baby hairs coming through, which is great. So that will just add density to the hair as we continue moving through the months. And moving on to the next temple, this one right here, we can see a lot of small hairs coming through here as well. There are a few, there's some, some, some right there. Um, and I see my little spot there that I compare my hairline to. A lot of new hairs coming through here. But I think overall, all the hairs that are here look better. So I think even the hairs that were that are terminal are affected by minoxidil, which makes it look even better. So potentially, you could use only minoxidil for making your hair thicker. However, if you want to battle male pattern baldness, you will have to use the DHT blockers such as finasteride. So all these small hairs that we see here are obviously coming back because of finasteride, whereas for the minoxidil, it's actually giving those hairs more nutrition so that they can grow to become terminal hairs like 
these guys right here. Spinning forward to a couple of days ago, 1st of December, check out my hair. I think it looks really good. You can still see, obviously, that some of these hairs are very small. However, if you look at it from afar, it looks so much better. I know some of you guys will say, well, this bit here is obviously thinning. True. But if we compare it to right before I made the last video, which was the 1st of November update, check this out. Do you see that? So that was three weeks into my hair regimen. Do you see? So like we have some hairs that are obviously the terminal hairs that are really long, but then we have these small dots across da 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 da, which just don't seem to grow. So right now, these all these small hairs have been activated. And if we look from afar, check that out compared to this. It's so much better. It looks denser. It looks like the hairs are coming out longer, they're thicker, which to me is a sign that the shedding has stopped and right now all the hair is just being regrown. And I even decided to take a photo from the back because I thought it looked so good. Sure, we can still see that this area is thinning, but to be honest, the difference isn't that big. And if I was out in the city and I saw someone from the back that had a hair like this, I wouldn't think that guy's balding. And I know you and I both look at every single man that we see and we judge their hair <laughs> because we're f***ing obsessed with it. Let's check the temples as well. There's a lot more new hairs coming through down here. Even the hairline, and also the hairline, I usually draw it like this, right? But now, I can actually lower that down. Do you see this? Because we have these hairs coming through here, which is awesome. So when I use my derma roller, I actually go over this bit here that doesn't have any visible hair because I know that there are really small baby hairs that you can barely see that may grow back. If I derma roll over them, apply minoxidil, and use my finasteride. So from this angle, I can only say that this area is thinning, the rest looks really good. Like it looks really good here, 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 obviously here. I'm super happy. And if we look on the other side, this is where I draw my hairline, all these hairs are coming in like really small. So I'm super happy with the results. I know that there are a few of these like lone hair strands to just hang out by themselves. But if I really zoom in, I can see that there are a lot of small ones coming through. So we're just gonna have to give it more time to be honest and it's gonna grow in really nice and I took a photo from another angle as well now the hairline is also becoming much better and you can see all of these hairs are just new hairs they weren't there before let's sum it up the shedding has stopped or ultimately reached its end we're now seeing a lot of hair growth coming back and even the diffusing hair or the shedding hair is coming out longer which means that they're gonna be terminal eventually and the minoxidil is working the way it's supposed to. And from what I've read, minoxidil works best in the crown area, which is my biggest issue or my biggest insecurity. Also because this area is much bigger, I hope with time it's gonna grow in even thicker so that you can't differentiate between the crown and the side or the front, that everything is united in thickness, density and color. But I have to be honest with you, I haven't used my microneedle for about two weeks. Because I've had such a hectic month with work, I was traveling, and because I, my girlfriend helps me out, I couldn't just bring it with me and do it to myself. So, my bad guys. Would it have changed the results? Probably, maybe would have made them a little bit better. But in the long run, is it gonna affect my entire hair loss treatment? Not really. I think what's the most important with this hair loss regimen is they use your finasteride and your minoxidil. Derma rolling is just a plus, and if you can get that once a week, that's great, but if you miss one week, it's not the end of the world. Is it better to keep up with it than not? Of course, but shit happens, life happens, so prioritize what's important, and the derma roller, if you miss it, it's fine, just get back on it and continue the next week. And in terms of side effects, I'm still in the safe zone, I haven't noticed anything, which is great, apart from maybe a little bit of watery, you know what? That doesn't really matter. But there's an other thing that I would like to talk about, which I hate this term, I really do, but it's mental health. I think it's relevant because you and I both care about our hair, which means we care about ourselves. And if we care about ourselves, we care about our well-being. And this time of year is honestly unbearable for me. I'm in Sweden, I don't know where you're at, but here it's cold, it's dark, we only get a few hours of sunlight every day. It's windy, it snows, it rains, everything is just so depressing. So for me, that little voice that criticizes me gets even louder during this time of year, and I feel like I'm not progressing, I feel like I'm not doing enough, I feel like I put everything that I find boring aside and it doesn't get done, so I procrastinate more. And one thing that a friend recommended to me a couple of days ago was the documentary Stuts on Netflix. Honestly, it's quite good. So if you're watching Netflix and you feel like you don't have anything new to watch, please watch that because you can actually benefit from it. 
there are actually a lot of tools we can utilize to not be so hard on ourselves, find ourselves making progress even though it seems like we're stuck in the same spot. And it's overall just very inspiring. We hit 1,000 subscribers and I couldn't be happier, so thank you guys so much. And I want to thank you guys for reaching out to me. You can always hit me up on Instagram DMs and tell me if you need any advice. I'm not a doctor, I don't have all the answers, but I'm very happy to listen to you and try to figure it out together. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you found this video somewhat useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.